Right, we're on the laptop again, and as promised in our previous Olympic Seamaster video, we're taking a quick look at the new Chronoscope range. This range was specifically made for the Paris 2024 Olympics, and Omega really have gone for gold on this one. There's four stunning variants of this watch that have been released. Number one is the steel on steel. Number two is the steel on leather. Number three is the all moonshine. And number four is the moonshine on leather. The first thing that you'll notice on the steel variant of this watch, as with all chronoscopes, is that intricate 1940s snail pattern dial. But this time, those classic blue details have been replaced with moonshine gold, just like what we see on the Seamaster 300. However, unlike the Seamaster, there aren't that many Easter eggs on this watch. It's pretty much the exact same as every every other 43mm chronoscope in the range, bar those gold hands and numerals, the blacked out subdials, and the inclusion of the Paris medallion on the frosted case back, which is usually in the exhibition style. But the speciality and the standout piece in this collection is by far that moonshine gold variant. This really is something special, and it's more aligned to what I expect from our Omega when releasing a commemorative Olympic piece. As I mentioned in our last video, for any of you wondering, moonshine gold is painted to Omega and it's basically an 18 karat gold alloy that's composed of silver, copper and palladium. This unique mix allows for a more distinctive and paler hue than traditional 18 karat yellow gold as well as high resistance to colour fading over time. This watch really does stand out from all the others in this collection and even though at its core it does hold most of the same features as the standard models that all over gold colouring just really makes this one pop. I love that even the tachymeter scale and the case back have been moonshined. This is by far my favourite piece in the chronoscope range, but pricing up at £45,500, I don't think I'm going to be buying this one anytime soon. Both the steel and gold versions of this watch, however, do come with a leather strap option, which does bring the pricing down somewhat. But in all honesty, I wouldn't buy either of these on leather. I'd stick to the bracelet because in my opinion, it just looks so much better and it's definitely worth that price increase. Just like the Seamaster 300, these pieces aren't numbered limited editions. They are just special editions. So they will be disappearing at some point. We just don't know when. I am a little bit disheartened with the lack of Easter eggs on this Chronoscope collection. However, I do understand that Omega probably wanted to keep this one a bit more classy. And to be honest with you, I will let them off just because because that moonshine variation looks absolutely fantastic. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments section down below. Do you prefer the Chronoscope or do you prefer the Seamaster 300? For me personally, I'm team Seamaster. I just think there's a lot more about it. And for me personally, it does suit my taste a lot more. And while you're down there, you may as well hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And as always guys, I'll see you again in the next one.